And here we have Hallie. Her dress kind of got into her arm, but that's okay. She still looks really good. And last but not least, I'm going to make Lammy. This one's going to take a little bit more work. I'm going to make Lammy's feet, hands, and skirt pink. Oh, and her bow, of course. And the rest of her I'll make white. Let me know in the comments what your favorite character is. Mine's Lemmy. Just putting on the final touches. And again, I'll peel off the excess Play-Doh. And here we have Lammy. I'm gonna go ahead and make Doc McStuffins fishy. And I'm gonna make the scissors and the blood pressure cuff. Have you guys ever gotten your blood pressure measured? They put that cuff around your arm and then it squeezes it really tight. But don't worry, it's just for a little bit. And now let's try out this crank extruder. We just put some Play-Doh in here. And now we'll crank away. And out came a bunch of band-aids. Here's everything we made today. Well, this was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to see more. Thanks! Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone! Awesome Disney Toys here, and today I'm bringing you a double whammy. I decided to pair two Play-Doh sets that I thought would go really well together. So we have the Play-Doh Double Dessert Set, and the Flip and Frost cookie set. I can't wait to make delicious Play-Doh treats with you guys. Are you guys excited? If you are, give this video a thumbs up. Let's start with the Play-Doh double dessert set. I'll put the Play-Doh ice cream in the freezer. You can hold up to two. And it comes with this really neat cover to keep your ice cream nice and cool. I know I said the cans are ice cream, but let's just say the ice cream magically turned into dough. Because I need to bake a cake in the oven. I'll use this mold. When you press down on the yellow handle, a timer will go off to let you know that your baked goods are finished. The timer kept going off. We might have burnt our first cake. Nope, it looks good. And here's our delicious mint cake. Let's put it on a plate. Don't worry guys, this isn't the finished product. We'll have to add some toppings now. We have to make use of our ice cream, so let's add one scoop to our cake. Yum! Blueberry ice cream! This is a colorful dessert. If you look inside the oven, there are more treats you can create. I made a tasty cookie. 
I'll add this to the cake as well. A cookie ice cream cake. I'd buy that in a heartbeat. But we're not finished yet. Here's a pretzel. That'll add a nice crunch. Let's see, what else? Here's a yellow star candy. I'll put this on top of the ice cream. What do you guys think? I don't even know what to name this. Let's make one more delicious dessert. Once again, guys, this ice cream is going to magically transform into dough. We'll use this mold. Wow, this oven bakes really fast. I need one of these. Every one of our cakes will have the Play-Doh logo on the bottom. Ooh, this looks good! I can't wait to add some toppings to this one! I'll use the extruder to add some frosting. Mmm, yum! Strawberry frosting on a blueberry cake! This is also a very colorful dessert. The cover for the ice cream freezer has a lot of toppings we can make. This is a mint heart. A lemon flower. and a mint spiral candy. Time to throw all of those toppings on the cake. This one looks really delicious too. Out of the two cakes, which one do you guys like the most? Let's see how this turns out. Ooh, nice! It's like a cookie or a donut. What would you guys say? Oh, I wanted to show you guys this. The top of the oven has really cool treats we could make. Here's a Teddy Graham cracker. I love these. At first, I thought this was a football, but I realized it was a monkey. And this is a gingerbread man. Perfect for the holidays. The double dessert set was really fun. Now it's time to move on to the Flip and Frost cookie set. This is really easy to use. Place your Play-Doh in the middle right here. Pull down on the handle. And pull down on the blue lever to pop up your mold really easily. With this set, we can make perfect cookies really quickly. Here's a mint cookie. It kind of reminds me of an Oreo. Now let's try a different cookie stamp.
I'll eat some dark chocolate. Mmm, here's a dark chocolate flour cookie. It's breaking a little, but that's okay. We can even use this set to decorate our cookie as well. The top has an extruder so we can make some frosting. I give this cookie two thumbs up! Look how perfect that frosting is! Not only can we put all of our desserts on this plate, we can make more desserts with this plate too! Here's a chocolate cookie! I'll make another one! I'll add a little frosting. Put the two cookies together. And we have ourselves a chocolate cookie pie! I could go for one of those right now! We made so many yummy desserts and cookies today! I hope you guys like the playset pairing! After playing with both of them, they do complement each other really well! If you guys have any playset pairing ideas, let me know! I'll definitely give it a try! I hope you guys enjoyed this video! Thanks for watching! Please subscribe to watch more! See you soon! Hey everyone! Awesome Disney Toys here, and today we're bringing you Play-Doh Double Treat Ice Cream Set! Thumbs up if you're craving some sweet, cold ice cream! The back of the box shows what we can do with this playset. Let's first start by taking everything out of the box. Here's an ice cream cone. Some sundae bowls. We get an ice cream scooper. And here's how we'll make the ice cream. We get a white Play-Doh Plus, an orange Play-Doh Plus, and a regular can of green Play-Doh. Wow! This is awesome! We have so many accessories and tools to use to make our ice cream! Now who's ready to have some fun and make some ice cream? Let's start by using the orange Play-Doh Plus. We'll put that on the first half. And in the second half, we'll put in the white Play-Doh Plus. And that's why they call it the double treat. You could put two Play-Dohs in one. And we can use this to shape our ice cream. Let's do the star one. And then, just put the extruder piece right in here. 
and pull down on the handle. Yum! That ice cream looks really good! What should we call this ice cream? I think I'll call it Vanilla Orange Cream. Can't forget the spoon! Now let's make some ice cream with this green Play-Doh. We'll use the scooper. And we'll put it on top of this classic ice cream cone. Here's a mint ice cream. That looks really yummy too. Now this is separate from the set, but I also bought some extra ice cream Play-Doh. I'll call this strawberry sprinkles. And this is birthday cake flavor. And I'll call this vanilla ice cream. Let's scoop up some of that birthday cake flavor ice cream. We'll put it in a sundae bowl. Let's make it a double scoop. I'm really craving some ice cream now. And let's throw a little bit of mint chips on top. How do you guys like this one? Now let's scoop up some strawberry sprinkles. Let's see what other molds we got. Here's Aurora's other dress, and this is the balcony. And here are some cones that we can use when we build our tower. We also get a birthday cake mold. Cool. Now let's see what Play-Doh we got. We get a light purple Play-Doh. And a yellow Play-Doh. We also get two glitter Play-Dohs. Nice! Here's a blue glitter Play-Doh. And here's a pink glitter Play-Doh. We can use our Play-Doh cans and our cones to make more towers. That's really cool! Let's also attach our balcony. We'll use the blue glitter Play-Doh to design the first dress. Place Aurora on top of the palace extruder when you're ready. That's really cool! Now Aurora's dress has some more style. That's pretty. Now let's use the light purple Play-Doh to design her dress some more. Here's a rose.
This is a flower. A purse. And here's another rose. Let's put all the decorations on her dress. A princess always needs her purse. Aurora looks really good, don't you think? Now let's design our other dress. This will be fun. We'll use the yellow Play-Doh for this one. Now she has some yellow to her dress. That's nice. We'll use the pink sparkly Play-Doh to design her dress some more. Here's a bow. Here's another bow. This bow looks really good too. Let's use the blue Play-Doh for this one. That looks really nice. Let's put all of the bows on her dress. She looks really nice. Now let's use the Play-Doh to design the palace. This palace looks really pretty. It's perfect for Aurora. Now let's make a birthday cake for Aurora.
Look at all those candles! Let's design our cake some more. We'll add some roses and flowers. Aurora's cake is really pretty. Now it's time to make the three fairies. Nice! Cool! Here's the third fairy. We can also make the spinning wheel. Cool. Now it's time to make some of Aurora's animal friends. That looks good. Nice! This was fun! There's just so many things you can do with this playset! Thanks for watching Awesome Disney Toys! Please subscribe to watch more! See you soon! Hey everyone, uh, some Disney Toys here, and today I'm super excited to bring you a Play-Doh set. This one's Doc McStuffin's Doc Clinic. It even comes with a Dottie doll. I just love Doc McStuffin, so this is going to be really fun. Give this video a thumbs up if you love Doc McStuffins. Let's go ahead and open the box. Here's the backdrop, the base of our playset, and it has a bunch of molds on it. We have a syringe, and I think that's a magnifying glass, along with a design in the middle. Here's a cabinet, and on top is scissors and a tool to check your blood pressure. And when we open this, it's an extruder. Here's a couch with some shapes on top, and when we open it, we have a mold for Lammy. And here's another book mold. On top it looks like there's a clipboard and a book. And inside we have Hallie. Next we have a bed. And Stuffy's inside. Here's a bag of accessories. We have scissors. And here's more molds. I think it attaches onto here. Oh, and the back has a place for our crank. I can't wait to try it out. Next, we have a Play-Doh knife, and it also doubles as a growth chart. And here's a closer look at Dottie. She has our doctor's outfit on and ready to see patients. This set comes with four cans of Play-Doh. We have white, blue, pink, and purple. Let's start assembling our clinic. The first thing I'm going to make is a stethoscope. This is what doctors use to hear your heartbeat. The next thing I'm going to make is an otoscope. It's what doctors use to look inside of your ear. Next is a thermometer. This is what they use to take your temperature.
Here's our stethoscope. A thermometer. And an otoscope. Let's decorate our growth chart. I made a pink and white flower. Now I'll make a syringe. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not a big fan of shots. Ouch! Down here's the magnifying glass. There's our syringe. And here's the magnifying glass. I went ahead and gave Doc McStuffins her tools. She's wearing her stethoscope, otoscope, and has a thermometer. And if she needs it, the syringe and the magnifying glass will be down here. Now that the doctor's all ready, we have to make the patients. We'll start with Stuffy. I'm gonna make Stuffy all blue. Phew! All done! Now we just have to close it up. I'm gonna trim off the excess Play-Doh. And voila! Here's Stuffy! I'll use a little bit of white for his eyes. Now I'll make Hallie. We'll give her a pink dress and the rest of her will be purple. Let's close her up. Have at barbecues. Yum, that's looking really good. Here's everything we made today. This was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to see more. Thanks! Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone! Awesome Disney Toys here! And today we're bringing you Play-Doh, fun with numbers, bucket. Let's see what's inside. Here's a playmat that we can use once we're done making our numbers. Here's two and three. Six and nine. Five and seven. Eight and zero. And one and four. It looks like we have 10 stamps to work with. We also get a blue and red Play-Doh. And a green and yellow Play-Doh.
And here's a roller too. If you look closely, all the yellow stamps are even numbers and all the red stamps are odd numbers. I can't wait to start making some numbers. Give a thumbs up if you're good with numbers. Let's start off with the yellow Play-Doh. While we roll this out, I'd love to know what your favorite number is. Write it in the comments below. We made the numbers 0, 1, and 2 with the yellow Play-Doh. Now let's use the blue Play-Doh. Here's a blue three. We also made the 4 and 5 in blue too. Now let's see how the numbers will look when we use the red Play-Doh. Here's 6 and 7. Let's finish off our last two numbers with the green Play-Doh. Here's 8 and 9. 
here's all the colorful numbers that we created today. Now let's have some fun with this playmat. What number goes in that blank space? There's a hint. You get one, two, three cookies. Yup, so we put the number three. Now what number goes in that blank space? There's two flowers. So we put the number two. Three plus two equals, in that blank space, we'll add one, two, three, four, five apples. So we put the number five. Isn't that funny? Three cookies plus two flowers equals five apples. Let's do one more. What number goes there? That's the hint. Yep, one sandwich. And then we'll add what number? That's right, three boats. One plus three equals I know you guys know this. Yup, four bananas. Well, we had a blast with numbers today. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to watch more. See you soon. Hey everyone, Awesome Disney Toys here, and today we're bringing you Play-Doh Fuzzy Pet Salon. Here's the front of the box, and here's the back of the box. Let's begin by opening up the box. Here's the Play-Doh that this playset provides. Here's the base of the playset. We get some Play-Doh scissors. Here's the chair for the pet salon. This is also part of the base. And here are some accessories that we'll be using. And here are the two pets for our pet salon. Let's start by opening up our Play-Doh. We get a light blue Play-Doh a yellow Play-Doh and a green Play-Doh. We also get some clippers and a mirror. Here's our first fuzzy pet. It's a cat. And our second fuzzy pet is a dog. Let's start by assembling our pet salon. We'll start with the dog. Let's use the green Play-Doh. This is really cool. Our dog has punk rock hair. He's not a fan of his new hairstyle, so we'll use the clippers to shave his head.
Our dog is bald now. Now it's the cat's turn. We'll use the blue and yellow Play-Doh. She wants the ombre hairstyle. We need a little more yellow Play-Doh. Isn't her hair pretty? Let's grow it out some more. That looks really nice. The cat's hairstyle is really cool. Now she wants us to trim it a little bit. That was fun! Thanks for watching Awesome Disney Toys! Please subscribe to watch more! See you soon! Hey everyone! Awesome Disney Toys here, and today we'll be doing some Play-Doh art. We'll be making some ice cream. Let's start by making an ice cream cone. We'll get a scoop of our mint chocolate grape. Yum! That looks good! Let's add a second scoop. This time, we'll scoop our rainbow tie-dye ice cream. That looks really good. We'll top it off with some whipped cream. Our double scoop ice creams complete. Now let's make some popsicles. Let's make the mint chocolate grape first. This looks refreshing. Now let's make our rainbow tie-dye popsicle.
Yum! This looks really sweet! Here are both of our popsicles! We hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to watch. I'll put it on this cone. That looks delicious. What would you guys name this ice cream? Making Play-Doh ice cream was really fun today. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to watch more. See you soon. Hey everyone, Awesome Dizzy Toys here, and today we're bringing you Play-Doh Flip and Serve Breakfast. We'll be making breakfast meals that we all enjoy eating. The back of the box shows everything that comes with the playset. Let's open it up. Here are all the Play-Doh that we get. We get a red Play-Doh, a white Play-Doh, a brown Play-Doh, and a yellow Play-Doh. And here are all the accessories for the set. Here's the waffle stamper, a French toast stamper, and a pancake stamper. And here's a cup to make a shake. We also get a fork, spoon, and a knife. And here's the tool for the extruder. We also get the spatula. And a plate. And here's how the set looks once you assemble it. We have an extruder on the left with five molds on top, and it even acts as a storage. We could place our utensils in there. And here's our spinning griddle. We could make eggs, hash browns, and our pancakes and waffles in here. And we have another extruder over here to make some whipped cream and our shake. Let's first start by making our egg. We'll need a little piece of yellow play-doh in the middle. And we'll place the white play-doh on top. And here's a perfectly cooked sunny side up egg. What's your favorite type of egg? I like my egg scrambled. Now let's make some delicious hash browns. And here are our extra crispy hash browns. Our breakfast is starting to look really good. Now it's time to make some waffles. Yum! These kind of look like Eggo waffles. What do you guys think? Let's make another waffle. Actually, I'll make three. Whoops, that one got stuck on top.
And now we need to add some syrup on top. Because that's the best part. And here are the delicious waffles. I'm getting really hungry. Oh yeah, we can't forget the whipped cream on top. Mmm, the whipped cream makes it look even better. Now what's breakfast without pancakes? So we'll make that now. What breakfast food do you guys like the most? I'd love to hear it. Here's how the pancake looks. That looks pretty real to me. I'll make two more because I'm really hungry. And we can't forget to put syrup on this too. Here are four fluffy pancakes. Nice. Now let's make some French toast. Here's how the French toast looks like. French toast is one of my favorites. It just tastes so good. Now let's make some of these molds. Here's some butter. We'll place the butter on top of the French toast. Perfect! We'll also need some fruit for our breakfast. Here's a juicy strawberry. French toast and strawberries, that's a really good combo. And of course, we can't forget the bacon. Here are three thin slices of bacon. The smell of bacon in the morning is the best. Thumbs up if you agree. Now we'll make ourselves a little shake. This is a nice little dessert after your hearty breakfast. Creating breakfast was really fun today. Remember, it's the most important meal of the day. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to watch more. See you soon. Hey everyone! Uh, some Disney toys here, and today I'm gonna be doing a Play Doh activity using this microwave. We're going to be making all types of food. Let's start with one of my breakfast favorites, a donut. We just roll up some brown Play-Doh. 
And it wouldn't be a donut without the hole. I'm also going to put some strawberry frosting on it. We just lay it right on top. And there we have our donut. I don't know about you guys, but I like my donuts a little warm. Let's just put it in the microwave for a few seconds. I love donuts. Maple's actually my favorite. Let me know in the comments what your favorite is. Ooh, it looks done. Yum, look at our donut. Next, I'm going to make a pretzel. We just roll out some brown Play-Doh. And after that, we just give it a little twist. It's basically a heart with a twist in the middle. Let's go ahead and warm it up. I like my pretzels with just salt on top. How do you guys like yours? Mmm, here's our nice warm pretzel. Next, I think we should make some eggs. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day after all. To make the egg, we just need white Play-Doh and a little bit of yellow Play-Doh. One sunny side up egg coming up. Eggs are great for breakfast because they're easy to make and full of protein to get you through the day. That looks about done. Mmm, one perfectly cooked egg. The next item I'm going to make is a hot dog. I'm going to use brown for the bun. and some red for the sausage. I love hot dogs, especially during barbecues. I like to put mustard and ketchup on my hot dog. What do you guys like on yours? Our hot dog's smelling pretty good. The next thing we're gonna make is one of my favorite foods. Pizza. We'll use brown Play-Doh for the crust. All we have to do is shape it into a triangle and then add the toppings. Here's our pepperoni. We'll use green for the veggies. and black for the olives. This will be a combination pizza. I know
know some people like cold pizza, but I'm gonna warm mine up. Mmm, I can smell it already. I can't wait for this pizza. Yum, that looks great. Another one of my favorite foods is a cheeseburger. We'll make the buns first. And we can't have a cheeseburger without the cheese. We'll cut this into a square. And lay it right on top of our bun. Next, we'll make the patty. We'll just use some dark brown Play-Doh and then shape it into a circle. We put it right on top of the cheese. I also like my burgers with tomato. And of course, lettuce. We'll put two pieces of lettuce. Here's our top bun. And I personally like sesame buns, so I'll add little sesame seeds. Mmm, there's our burger. But we'll put it in the microwave so the cheese gets all melty. Cheeseburgers are another food.